for the firm decision that you have taken as President of the Republic of Kenya. That under your leadership, your government will not allow our children to be killed by drugs and illicit brews. The hallmark of good leadership is the courage to make hard decisions. This issue of illicit rules, many leaders have chosen to be shy about it because it's not easy. But our president, being a devout Christian, has made a conscious decision and asked me and Professor Kindiki and our other agencies to lead the war against drug and substance abuse I know a few people are complaining. The ones who have been manufacturing and distilling poison, disguised as alcohol. Wamekuwa wakilalamika ya kwamba walifanya makosa, kuchagua rais na makamu wake ambaye watumi pombe. Lakini, on the flip side, 98% wanasema walifanya viema kuchagua rais na naibu ambaye watumii pombe. Na hii vita rais inafanya mzuri. The women have told me men are coming home early. Ni horoma. Si wazee wanafika mapema na wanafika wakiwa na kilo ya nyama. Hapo mbeleni walikuwa nakuja wakiwa walevi, hakuna nyama amenunua, akipewa gedheri anauliza wapi nyama na hakuna nyama amenunua. So and I can tell you your excellency the feedback we are getting, the people are happy with this war. Tuendelea ama tusiendelea? Tudhi na abere. I want to take this opportunity to ask the Anglican Church of Kenya to join the government in this war. Archbishop and your bishops, please, we cannot succeed without the church. We can only do so much. But there is so much other work to be done in terms of mentorship, in terms of counseling, so that our young people can see the need to stay sober and go to work with those